Hi, now that you've learned a bit about physical computing and explored some Arduino programs, let's dive into our Arduino editor and set up our device. All of the programs we're going to write in this course are going to be in a language called C++, but don't worry if you've never used this language before. Throughout the course, we're going to build on and apply some programming concepts you've already learned, as well as learn some brand new topics that are specific to physical computing. So as long as you've seen basic programming concepts in any language, you should be ready to dive in. Now that we've seen all the awesome things we're going to learn to do in this course, let's get into how we're actually going to do it. In this course, we'll be using Tinkercad to virtually build and simulate our programs, and the Arduino editor to run our programs on our physical devices. Let's take a look at these environments to see all they can do. We'll first take a look at Tinkercad. We've already seen how to build circuits in Tinkercad. Now let's see how to add in some code. If I click the Code button on the top bar, a coding area will be shown on the screen. It will always default to blocks, but we want to write our code in text form so that it can be run on our actual devices later. So I'll click where it says Blocks and change it to text. This pop-up will just ask me if I really want to make this change, and I do, so I'll click Continue. Some default code will be added to the editor, but I can always clear it out. I'm going to paste in this sample program and click Start Simulation. I should see the LED blinking on and off, which it is so I know my program works. Once you've written a successful program that you want to run on your physical device, simply click this arrow button to download the code you've written. This will download the file in an Arduino form, so when you click it, it should open in the Arduino program that should already be on your computer. When you click the file, it will open the Arduino program and ask to create a folder where the file will live. Click Continue or OK and you'll see that your code opens up. From here, we can run the program on our device. To do this, plug your device into the USB port and go to Tools. Make sure that the board is selected as Arduino Uno, and the port should have an Arduino Uno label as well. It will usually be the last port in your list. Note, not correctly setting the port for your device is the most common mistake that causes issues when downloading. Once everything is set, click the arrow button to download the code to your device. You'll see some notices at the bottom of the screen, and once the program has been downloaded, a message will say, Done Uploading. Your program should automatically run on your device. To restart the program, click the red button on your Arduino device and the program will run from the beginning. Before you get to building and testing your own programs, let's take a quick look at the structure of an Arduino program. Our programs will always contain two functions, the setup function and the loop function. They each have specific purposes and properties that are important for us to know as we write our programs. The setup function comes at the beginning and is the first part of the program to run. It is used to initialize values and set up all of our components before moving on to run the commands inside the loop function. All the commands placed inside the setup function will run one time from top to bottom as soon as the program starts. The loop function is where the meat and potatoes of our programs live. The commands inside the loop function are run over and over consecutively until the program is ended. Another thing to note is that all commands inside either function must be indented by one level. To indent your commands, use the tab key on your keyboard rather than the spacebar. The final thing to be reminded of when using these functions is that all commands inside the function must be surrounded by curly braces. You can find the symbol above the quotation mark and enter key on the right side of your keyboard, and you'll need to hold down the shift key. Now it's your turn to explore some programs in Tinkercad. 